examples of uh, diction and let's go to this website it's a very interesting website and you will have plenty of uh, examples of diction now it starts with uh, the regular uh, understanding the universal uh, understanding of diction if you see common examples of diction and you can see over here uh, you know here it says could you be so kind as to pass me the milk versus give me that so it's simply it's as easy as that you know give me that is very informal usage of language whereas could you be so kind as to pass me the milk it's extremely formal similarly here i regret to inform you that this is not the case versus you're wrong so simply say you're wrong or go a roundabout way to uh, put it across formally now coming down uh, you have the significance of diction in literature if you see now authors make conscious and unconscious word choices all the time when writing literature just as we do when speaking to one another the diction in a piece establishes many different aspects of how we read the work of literature from its formality to its tone even to the type of story we are reading so um, you have examples of diction in literature and remember i was talking about archaic uh, diction old diction so here you have an excerpt from shakespeare's play uh, macbeth macbeth and here you see um, if you look at this part where macbeth has killed the king uh, he has killed king duncan and he says i have done the deed didst thou not hear a noise so didst thou he's talking to his wife but it's a very elevated style because he's a general he's royalty he's a knight and obviously he will not use everyday language to talk to his wife so didst thou not hear a noise right and uh, uh, and then so on and so forth and then you have over here a very interesting example um oh yes so here if you see this is an example from sherlock holmes now you might be aware of this famous fictional character he's a world famous detective uh, sherlock holmes and he is speaking to his very best friend he's his roommate his very close friend dr watson and he, but yet even with his friend with whom he lives and he shares everything with he speaks in full sentences and with elevated language so possibly uh, most other people would use common uh, half finished utterances or uh, everyday language and less formal language but um, sherlock holmes diction remains unchanged and this is a very deliberate deliberate kind of orchestration by the writer to imply imply that sherlock holmes is a very distanced and formal person with everybody he keeps things to himself so diction also determines uh the traits and the qualities of a character so here you have sherlock holmes uh talking to dr watson and he says you just hold your head high and keep those fists down no matter what anybody says to you don't you let them get your goat try fighting with your head for a change okay uh sorry this one is from another uh, no one i guess sorry this this is the one it seemed to me that a careful examination of the room and the lawn might possibly reveal some traces of this mysterious individual you know my methods watson there was not one of them which i did not apply to the inquiry and it ended by my discovering traces but very different ones from those which i had expected so he's speaking very formally he's disclosing how he has solved the case the mystery because sherlock holmes is a detective but is using very formal very official language you can actually go to this site and check out for yourself i think there are some great examples out there